Y'all, I hope you're ready because we got a lot to talk about. Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. So, today's video is going to be super, super, super exciting. So, I have the orange lights on because we're going to be doing a Louis Vuitton unboxing. So, this is my birthday gift to myself. I have had this on order since January. And the reason that is, is because, well, you can see it kind of, but <clears throat> because for some reason, it's like really hard to find now. Of course, when I start wanting it, it's really hard to find, but I kept up with the website. I scoured it, scoured it, and finally, right at in the middle of January, it came up and said, add the bag. So I bought it and <clears throat> me and my family had already talked about going to Charlotte to pick it up. So I had it shipped there and it worked out really well because it was going to be ready the week of my birthday or still be there the week of my birthday. So I was like, cool, this works out. So I finally picked it up today, but before we get into that, I haven't been on here. I mean, I hardly ever post on here in a normal schedule, but I haven't really been on here because things have happened in my life that I don't really want to get into right now. I may make a separate video on it or I may not, but you know, some really bad things went down and I've not been happy. And honestly, this has brought me a little bit of happiness. Whoever said money can't bring happiness obviously has never gone to Louis Vuitton. So, without further ado, we're going to, well, not unbox, because I already did that on my Instagram, but I'm going to reveal my dream Louis Vuitton. Hey, look at her. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Even the sales associate said so. But this is the Louis Vuitton Montaigne BB. Look at her. Just, I can't believe I have this bag. I have wanted this since it first came out. I remember <clears throat> when I went to Charlotte. And I keep saying that. When I went to Charleston, <clears throat> which I talk about that in a different video. That was my first ever Louis Vuitton experience actually in the store. Well, number one, my first Louis Vuitton experience ever, but also my first Louis Vuitton experience in an actual store. And when I was checking out, I saw this bag and I think the MM on a shelf and I said, huh, that's really pretty. And then it came out on the website and I was like, ooh, I like that. And I finally have it. I just, I can't, I can't believe it. I have wanted this bag for so, so long, almost 10 years, but I finally have it. It's mine. She's so gorgeous. I love it. I cannot wait to carry it. So yeah, let's get into it. So I already did, um, some mod shots for size reference. I am five, seven, five, eight, size 16. And this bag looks really good on me. It hits me exactly where I want it to as a shoulder bag and as a crossbody bag. And I just, I'm so in awe. I can't believe that I have this bag because I have been wanting it and wanting it and I got it and I've been counting down the days until we could get here. And this one little bag has brought so much happiness already to me. Like, I can't, I can't get over it. So, anyway, it's got two um, rolled handles, which are a lot smaller than speedy handles. <clears throat> Ironically, this was the bag that I got the first time I went to Charlotte. The Speedy V30 and the Damier bean print. Also, another one of my dream bags so i've gotten gotten got i have two of my dream bags that i both 
Scott and Charlotte, but I had different experiences with them and I'll tell you about that at the end. But yeah, the shoulder straps, the shoulder straps, the arm hand, I can't think. These things, these little straps fit comfortably on the arm. There's a lot smaller than the Speedy. And what's really great about this is they fold into the bag. So when you carry it as a shoulder bag, you can't really see it. Well, that one's kind of peeking out, but there we go. But also, I mean, you can leave them out if you want to, but I just think it looks more chic that way. I don't, it kind of changes the look of the bag. And then, this strap is not adjustable, but this one is. You can make it a crossbody if you get the M. I know the MM. I think the GM too. The strap on it is shorter, so it's just going to be a shoulder option, which is one reason why I opted for this size over the other ones. But I, I just can't get over this. Seriously. I've wanted this bag for so long, and it's finally mine, and I'm just like, what? <clears throat> but anyway, here is the inside. It's like a plum colored, that suede kind of microfiber-y suede material, and then it's got like three sections. There's one big slide pocket on the back here, two up here, and then a middle zip compartment, which I don't, I probably won't keep anything in there to be honest, just cause I don't want to ruin the shape of the bag. And I feel like if I put a whole bunch in there, it may pouch up. I don't know, we'll see. And honestly, I bought a bag organizer for this bag, but I don't know if I necessarily want to use it or not. Like, it looks so good without it. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it without the organizer and then with the organizer and see. But let's get into the fun part. Let's stuff it because I'm ready to carry this bag. So, of course, carried my Speedy down there. So in here, first of all, I got a business card this time, which I'll get into that in a minute, but yeah, let me see, make sure there's not any, aha, uh -huh, I did have a hauls on me. I've had bronchitis for the last little bit, but I didn't know it was bronchitis because I went to the our walk-in clinic and they were like, oh, it's some viral thing. Just take some mucinex and use some nasal stuff and you'll be fine. I was still coughing. So then I went to my actual doctor and was telling them my symptoms. And they were like, yeah, bronchitis will do that. And I'm like, where, where did the bronchitis come in? I don't know. But anyway, I want to put my, keep my bag there and we'll just start pulling stuff out. So first of all. I have my Louis Vuitton Clemence wallet that I unboxed a while ago, and it's got the beautiful pink interior in it. I love this thing so much. I feel so chic carrying it, and I mean, look how it looks with the bag like. Seriously. So that fits in that back pocket very smoothly. Um, and then I have this little guy, the one that started it all. This is my Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch. They used to call it something different when I bought it, but now it's just the cosmetic pouch. And like, you can tell I've had this thing for years that the shadow on it is finally turning but I mean it's still for the most part except for the vachetta and the inside little pocket it looks brand new 
my sales associate asked me if I knew how to take care of the of my products and I said yeah I take better care of them than I do myself but anyway I'm going to put that in there and again I'm just having a monogram moment apparently so that fits in there well right up here it just about covers the entire space not quite but just about but honestly, I don't really carry that much stuff lately, so that's not going to be that big of a deal. I have my sunglass case. I want to get a Louis Vuitton one because, I mean, hello. But until then, I love this because it's Starry Night from Van Gogh. And I'll show you. I'm wearing some new sunglasses. I don't have my Raymond Reddington ones right now, but let me get close so you can see them. I mean, they match my hair. I had to buy them. They're from Lane Bryant. If you don't know, I work there. I'm a key holder there now, a manager. Can't believe I can say that. Like seriously, I worked there back in 2016, 2017. I have some videos on here from that time. And I just, I, I, I still can't believe that I can say, yeah, I'm a manager. Like, but I saw those and I thought, mm, those match my hair. I need those. So put that in there I have this little guy this is a pill container and in here I just keep some Advil I have um, <clears throat> migraine medicine that I keep with me I need to refill in here and I have Zofran because I've been having stomach issues lately anxiety and depression and will uh, do that to you so i think i might slip that in one of the slip pockets just so it'll have easy access fits in there good um what else do i have in here i've got my little airpod dupes that i got from amazon i mean they don't claim to be airpod so that's why they're not like a knockoff they're dupes but I wanted to try these out before I invested in AirPods because if I don't like these, I don't want to spend like however much on them, but I really like these. So I do eventually want to get me some AirPods. So I think, yeah, those can go in that other slip pocket. It fits in there well. Although I might actually, because I don't want to stuff it too. Yeah, I just kind of put it to the side there and it still fits. Like seriously, all my stuff fits in here perfectly. And then lastly, I have my keys. Um, the keychain has changed, so we can talk about it. Um, first of all, my car has changed. My car has decided that it likes to sputter when it's, or my old car that I drove, decided that it wanted to sputter whenever I drove and it just totally freaked me out. So my grandpa let me take over his car. So I've got the key to it. It is a Honda Accord and I love that thing. I've loved that thing ever since they got it and like he promised it to me, so. I have it now. It's really emotional to talk about because that was the big thing was he died. So that's why I have the car key. Anyway, don't want to get emotional yet. Um, I've got a um, 11th Doctor Lego keychain and this little keychain that one of my uh, kiddos from my first year as my the preschool assistant gave me. I used to have this on my lanyard, but I don't actually have a lanyard now. I do like a badge reel. So I put that on my keys. And then the house key hasn't changed. I've still got Penny's little uh, microchip thing on there. <clears throat> and then this is the keys that is the most important. I've got this little pink pom-pom on here to match the little clip to match 
this gorgeous keychain. I forget what the name of this is, but it's pink and it has the little, uh, what are the, the cat, cat, catcher foils, I think is how you pronounce that. And it's got one up here. I purchased this for myself whenever I found out that I was going to be a manager to put my Lane Bryant key on. So this is the key to our store. I mostly close, so I set the alarm code at night and then I have to lock the door. So, you know, keep those handy. It also works for our back door um, because it's like an emergency exit thing. So if you push on it, the alarm will go off and I've accidentally set the alarm off trying to unlock the door. Yeah. And it's really loud and really annoying. So we try to avoid that, but we have to let UPS and stuff in. So the managers do that. So yeah, everything fits in there perfectly. I was wondering I'm reading a book right now, and I was wondering if I could fit my book in there. I'm going to go grab it and see if we can, just for fun. All right, so this is the book that I am currently reading. It is My Not-So-Perfect Life by Sophie Kinsella. I love Sophie Kinsella. If you don't know, she's the one that wrote the Shopaholic series, and that book series just touches after my heart. I Becky Bloomwood gets me, and I get her. Like, for real. I love the movie, love the books, everything. Everything that Sophie Kinsler writes is so good and so funny. I cannot put her books down. And <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of, a lot more reading lately. I've actually been wanting to read because it's a way to kind of escape my current reality that I really don't want to be in. So, yeah, I like to have my book on me at all times, just in case if I feel like reading. And, let's see. Oh. Oh. No way it fits. I, I've heard people call the Speedy Bags Mary Poppins bag, and I'm pretty sure I have. But this thing, I think, is the Louis Vuitton Mary Poppins bag. Because it can fit a whole book in there. And this is the BB size. Oh, yeah, and one more thing I have, which I'm probably going to use this, honestly, if I go to, like, a restaurant or something. I don't know. I haven't really used this, but maybe I'll start using it. But it's one of those little hooks that, like, you put this on the table and then you hurt, hook your purse into it. The only thing, I don't want to do that and, like, have the pressure on the handles. So I don't know if I'm necessarily going to use that or not. Like, I would rather put my bag beside me or something, but I'll keep it just in case. But it says, life is short, buy the bag. My motto. But I think I'll put that in that slip pocket that I had my dupe AirPods in and everything fits in there super well. It's not too heavy. And yeah, look at it. I love it. My one complaint, which is not huge. I mean, honestly, it's something I can live with. I don't know if... Uh, it looks good now, but sometimes this kind of gets wonky. Like, it looks really... W I think it's when you put the bag like that. So, probably you need to tuck the clochette in, too, if you're carrying it. Because otherwise, it just kind of sticks out like that and looks kind of bad but I don't maybe as the leather smooths out over time it'll loosen up maybe but that's like my only complaint is about that but it's not that big of a deal but there that looks good I still can't believe I have this bag. <laughs> like, I'm dying. No, don't want to say that. Like, I can't get 
over it. I can't get over it. This really makes me want this in different sizes. But if I got the bigger size, I would probably want to get it in the prompt leather. Because I like that bag too. But, I mean, this this is my perfect bag. This is my dream bag. I can't get over it. But, <clears throat> before I do end this video, I did want to tell you about my experience. Because, if you um, aren't new to the channel, you would know that when I went to Charlotte for my birthday to get my Speedy, I had a very horrible experience. I'll have that video linked here in case you want to watch that. But, basically, customer service was non-existent. They were super rude. When I finally got... Ooh. When I finally got a sales associate, she acted like she just wanted to hurry and get me out of there. And she didn't even give me her business card. So, it's probably like a, I don't want to see you again. Even though, by that point, I had purchased, I think I had my little cosmetic bag. And, did I have something else? I may have had something. I don't remember. But, anyway, I mean, I had made a purchase at Louis Vuitton before. So, not that that should matter. Anyway, that's a whole separate thing. Go watch that video. So, I was really nervous this time. Even though, you know, I bought the bag online to have it delivered. Like the manager in my, the first situation. I actually got contacted by the manager to talk about why I had such a horrible experience. And she was like, well, you can always make an appointment or buy the bag online and pick it up. So, that's what I did this time. I wanted to make sure I got it because I didn't want to take a chance and they not have it. But anyway, so I was super nervous about go. I literally was nervous about going in the shop because I was thinking, you know, are they going to treat me bad this time? Am I going to have a good experience? Like what? The minute, not even the minute, the second me and my mom walked in the door. There was somebody standing there. He said, hi, welcome to Louis Vuitton. How can we help you today? Like came up and greeted us, looked us in the eye. I told him, I said, I'm actually here to pick up a bag. He said, okay, great. Like I got, he said, go ahead and get your ID out and we'll get someone with you. The girl that helped us came over. I gave her my ID. She went back and got it. She opened it, showed it to me, let me try it on. I mean, it was a completely different experience than what we had last time. I'm thinking probably part of that may have been that I actually had a Louis Vuitton bag on and was carrying it in the store. But I mean, still, completely different experience. And even my mom, she looked at me and she's like, I know you don't want me to do this, but I got to do it. And she kind of more or less told the sales associate what happened to us last time. And she said, I just wanted to thank you because this was so great. And she said, oh, of course, no problem. You know, she was super, super nice. And I actually got a business card from her. It has her name on it and everything. So, I guess I have my own essay now. But, yeah, super sweet. Her name is D. If you, go, I don't want to give her a full name. But, her name is D. If you go to the Louis Vuitton and Charlotte. Super sweet. Super helpful. You know, offered to get us water and stuff like that. Probably should have taken it because I've never had Louis Vuitton water. But I was just so excited by that point. I mean, I literally, she got the bag out and I squealed. That's how much I wanted this bag. But I completely different experience. And what's even funnier is we went to Kate Spade directly after that because I was going to look around. Nobody in there greeted us. We came out, I looked at my mom, and I said, that's kind of funny that Louis Vuitton is nicer than Kate Spade. She said, yeah, I know. But, <clears throat> yeah, so, that helped my mood a lot, having that good experience. And I know material things aren't everything, but I've had a really bad few weeks, and this has helped it tremendously besides like the bag being more than I expected it to my experience being more than expected to the weather was good down there we had fun and it was a really good day and I haven't had a lot of those lately so I'm really glad I had one and I'm really glad that I have my new bag but anyway 
With all of that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoy it. If you want to stick around and see other videos that I film, please hit the subscribe button. Also, ring that bell to turn on notifications to find out when I decide to post. I post a bunch of random stuff, a lot of unboxings and hauls, um, some sit down talk videos, like, um, history type stuff. I've done a video on Louis Vuitton history. I'm going to do a couple more just because I love the brand. I've loved the brand forever. I can't believe that I have multiple pieces from it now. Like that's, I hate to sound like a stereotypical. I'm not trying to brag. I'm really not. I'm just in awe that I've been able to do this because this has been my dream since I was little to own pieces from or at least like one little piece from Louis Vuitton and I have like a keychain two like three bags I can't believe that but anyway I post stuff like that I do vlogs I do a bunch of everything on here so if any of that sounds interesting to you at all subscribe and also check me out on Instagram. I am on there a lot more than here just because it's so convenient. You know, it's kind of hard with my schedule to film sit down videos because I work at a preschool from like 8.30 in the morning to two. And then I literally go from there an hour later to Lane Bryant and I work there till close. So I really have no time to do sit down videos at all, except for on the rare occasion that I have a day off mostly a weekend because by the time I get done with the preschoolers I'm kind of brain dead and I don't feel like filming but that's beside the point so yeah. thank you again for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one bye guys all that's left is a window to my soul come and get it